welcome to 4 Models Tools Review Time. So today we've got MRP's Scribers. Haven't seen these before, I've heard good things about them, uh, and to be honest, these have been sent to me. I haven't bought these uh, in the inter interest of disclosure. Uh, these are actually sent to me by uh, HM Hobbies, uh, co.uk. They're the guys who do all the MRP paints now in the UK. So they actually, because I've spent, I think, a small fortune with them, uh, sent me these to have a play with and see exactly what they're like. So as I said, I haven't bought these, but I'm not being paid to do the advert, so to speak. So what we've got down in here is uh, we have a... Uh, this is the needle one, okay, so that's in red. And what I'm just going to write down here is the color. So I know which is the difference because that's the thing. So as you can see, they come with a sort of a foam guard on the top. Oh, it's metal, crikey. All right, so we've got a spike technically in there just like that. Okay, so that's that one. I'm just gonna pop the end on just in case I kill someone. Okay, so next up we've got the narrow one. Okay, which we're going to call black. Okay, this is just so I know which is which. Okay, so that is actually a hooked claw, uh, literally on the end of that one, as you can see. That one looks lethal as well. And these are, oh, they are metal. I thought they were plastic. It just looks like plastic. Okay, and then the last one down here, we have the wedge, which is blue. Okay. Okay, so that's it. Now these actually come on a, um, it's a, a, I don't know what that is, like a plastic, it's like a rubberized plastic, very comfortable in the hand, as you can see it like that. So that's actually very nice. Okay, so that's the wedge one, which is the blue. Okay, this is the narrow, obviously I presume, rescribe. You can probably see that blade is incredibly fine up at this end where my hand is. Uh, again, really very, very nice indeed. And then we've got this one down here, which is literally looks like a needle. Okay, again, very, very lethal looking. That is really, really sharp. Okay, so we're gonna need a template. And let's have a go with these guys. So I'm using my standard uh, Hasegawa uh, set of scribers. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, we've got a little bit of plastic up as you can see, um, and then what we'll do is, we are, I'm not missing actually, one of my one scribing template missing. Okay, so we're just gonna pop this down here, and to start with, we're going to use the, um, let's use, just trying to put this into some type of semblance, this is the narrow, okay, so black is the narrow one. Okay, so we're just gonna pop this here, we're gonna pop this guy in here, Okay, seem to cut relatively cleanly. You can see down there, had a little bit of skipping. Okay, so don't forget, we are going through um, a little bit of primer on this, is just so you guys can see it. And I'm adding a little bit more pressure with that one. And you might be able to see, I've got the old spiral coming up. As soon as I added pressure, we had a little bit of spiral, but that is actually very nice, pretty clean cutting. Not as clean as perhaps I've got with some of my other options in the arsenal but i'm just playing with it different pressures different angles trying it from a high to a low okay and that i'm really pushing on now so as you can see as well you can see by the pressure using the spiral difference between where well, it broke okay the other one and that one okay so again very nice we've got no raised at all it's probably pulling that out okay so that's the narrow one Okay, and now we're just going to switch over to the blue one, and we're just going to see what happens on this. Again, got a little bit of tearing, you can probably hear it, uh, and that's not exactly nice, to be honest, that's sort of ripped all its way through. We're going to try it again. Changing the angle, coming up from a higher angle now, and that is definitely better. That's from a higher, it doesn't like being low uh, as in the angle, it likes to be more up at a higher angle. Okay, we're gonna try another one, even higher angle this time. So this time we're gonna come in from, it's probably 45 degrees. So that's like a 45 degree, and you can probably see the difference. There's a lot more cutting power, and that's actually taken out a very, 
nice channel there. Now it's called the wedge tip on that. Um, to be honest, I can't see that much difference in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do another one and come down to around about a 35 degree angle. Okay, now I'm pushing a little bit. I'm trying to dig in the blade on this. And again, you can probably see down here by the bits being left off what we've got. That's far cleaner cut. So these, to be honest, uh, a normal scriber, you just pull, and I always say just pull the scriber. They're not exactly loving being just pulled. If I just pull this, it's not really doing much uh, at all. It needs a little bit of pressure. Okay, but that's not so much of a problem. Okay, you can probably see the tip of it looking a little bit silver there now where it's going through the paint. So it might work a little bit better once we get the paint off the end. Okay, let me have another go. A shallow angle with quite a bit of pressure. Again, it just seems to, you can probably hear it, it's tearing its way through. It's not precisely slicing right the way through. Now, I'm not going to get all my other scribes out because we've done it on text before. Go off and have a look at them, all right? But as I said, not the blue one, not so good. Okay, this is just a point. It's literally just a, like a point. So we're just going to try this. Now this, in theory, should just scratch its way through, which it's done. Okay, but let's face it, a point isn't designed for doing that type of job. Okay, a point really is designed for doing circles, everything else. So let's just try them in here. So again, we're just going to run with this guy around. So very little pressure just till it starts to carve its way in and then once it's carved its way in it tends to follow itself around the racetrack and you can get deeper and closer right the way through and then you can actually come up with your area you want so if we try and do a square let's do a smaller square here okay so we're just going to run this guy around Jumped out, not a good sign. Because it's not eating too far into the corners. And we're going right around now. I'm going to try the other way. There we go. Okay, so yeah, the to be honest, the point, uh, which is known as the needle, is great for doing that type of thing. And I assume you could use it for riveting, for placing your rivets, things like that. You'd have no problem with that one. So the point really, circles, squares, and riveting, that's great. My problem I'm having is with these aren't cutting quite as clean as I'd seen on other things, okay? So again, to be honest, the black one, uh, which is uh, the narrow, is fine. Okay, now I'm sort of, you get into a bit of a run with it, it's absolutely fine, but I don't know if you can see it down on here. Obviously, the, this one on this side is your narrow one. This one over here, you can probably see its difference in texture. Also, if I, you can, I can feel it, it's rough as hell. This, on this side, this thin one is totally smooth, no problem whatsoever. Okay, so just, I'm going to do it on this. This is just without any paint on this at all just down here just to have a feel absolutely curls it up no problem with that at all okay and then yeah I have no problem with that let's just try the blue again you can probably I know hopefully you can hear it it's it's not cutting it's sort of ripping but again high angle of attack it's fine okay oh god now we're getting technical okay so this is the wedge, okay? High angle of attack, it doesn't like to be low, okay? And hopefully you can see me. If I do it this angle, I can show you. So if you're coming in like I would normally scribe, just pulling, not pushing, and let the scriber do all the work, you will listen and it goes. You can hear it and it, it feels horrible, okay? But if I come up from a high angle of attack, more like holding a pen, and you pop this guy in, you hear the difference and hopefully I know the camera's slightly off angle for that one you can probably see it so I will do it just over here once more okay and hopefully both cameras will get this then so again low angle high angle and then hopefully you can see down in here how this is torn and it's scratchy and it hasn't really gone through yet the one below it's okay all right, but the black one, you can even see you get the perfect 
little wisp come up at the end. Now let's try that at a higher angle. Again, no problem with that at all. It tends to eat in a bit more. This is more like a traditional scribing tool I would use with all my others, okay? So from that point of view, I've got no problem with that. So, you know, this guy, the black one, that's actually really nice. Very fine, absolutely. So do love that, no problem at all. So there we go, that is it. Scribe is scriber at the end of the day. I think it's very much like cars. Everybody has a favorite. You have those ones that you love, you use, you get used to it. And the old me muscle, uh, muscle, memory muscle or muscle memory comes in. So how you hold it and work with it is definitely a very much a must. The black one, which is known as the narrow, uh, Scriber, Mr. Scriber, I love it. That's actually really nice. It's very light in the hand. It feels very comfortable. It's just like holding a pen. I can imagine using it and scribing with it uh, in any way. It doesn't matter if you're holding it down because it holds in the palm of your hand and to the front. You could probably do any type of rescribing, just the little small ones right the way through to long ones with no problem. You can adjust your pressure and off you go. So that is very nice. The blue one, which is, which is blue, which is known as the wedge, I don't know, I can't get that to work. The only way I can get that to work is a very high angle of attack. Um, um, and I don't know, it just doesn't seem to glide through the plastic. You want when you're scribing something that slides through. If it's digging and everything else, you can imagine you get up to your filler, if you use super glue filler, if you use putty filler, it's gonna drop in or bounce off the top. Okay, so you want something that just carries on right the way through. The needle, to be honest, um, you know, you're not going to use a needle, to be honest, for scribing work, okay? But you could be using it as, again, for circles and stuff like that. So, again, very lightly just coming in. Let me go probably both ways around. And, it, again, because it's like holding a pen, it's very, very easy to use. No problem at all on that one. And, again, riveting work. You could just use a template for riveters. So like over here, you could use a sawtooth blade guide. So you just go one and two and three and four and five, and you'll have perfect line of rivets every single time. Very comfortable, very ergonomic in the hand uh, and no problems at all with it. So there we go, that is the Scriber range uh, by Mr. Scriber, MRP. Um, yeah, okay, so black, good. Blue, not so. Uh, and then needle, it does what it is. It's a pointy one at the end of the day.